Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to Crash Landing. We are here underneath our base today, taking a look at something new I got going on. Uh, so if you remember last episode, let's actually uh, go one, two, three, that. And you'll see we were up here trying to make our air reservoir work. Our, I guess not really reservoir, I guess pressure system, call it, whatever you want to call it. We were trying to make that work and I failed miserably. <laughs> Miserable does not actually be even like barely begin to cover what I did. Uh, it did not work at all. Uh, full stop. But uh, actually, I've been working really hard getting things looking really nice in here. Started working on the walls in here and all that kind of stuff. Getting prepped, making it look very, very pretty. And you'll see down here is where I've moved our electric kinetic or kinetic compressors rather. Now, this may not be the final resting place of these or even this configuration, it may spread them out a little more, because I have I have a bit of an idea about how to do this. Um, we're gonna be using something from, uh, what do you call them, uh, Ender IO to help us out in this situation. And the thing that's gonna help us out is actually uh, really neat. It's called the Redstone Conduit. So let's go, Cond for Conduit. And it is, let's see, uh, Conduit Switch, what are you? I'm not even sure what that does. Um, we're going to want this guy, uh, either redstone conduit or insulated redstone conduit. So I'm not quite sure what the difference is there, what the difference between the two of those is. Uh, I'm sure it's something, so we'll have to experiment. But in order to do that, we need a bit of kit to do it. We need these guys, redstone alloy. Now, I thought I could make this using any kind of silicon. No. We are required to use the Ender IO silicon, which we only get either from sag milling redstone or sand, which is like a 50-50 chance, or clay, which is like a 40% chance of getting four of them, which is still pretty good. But the big one being here is um, uh, this guy, which we've got like, you know, 100% we're gonna get eight redstone. Maybe we'll get some extra redstone and maybe we'll get some silicone. So we're going to have to try and build a sag mill today. And to do that, Oh, I don't have a elevator there, obviously. Let's go over here. I've been working on our underground hallway here for our machine lair. And I think our storage room will actually go over there somewhere. Uh, but this is our machine room. And this whole wall will be labeled or will be filled with our machinery that we're going to need, uh, such as the alloy smelter, which is currently up top, and a bunch of other stuff. And to get into the crawl space, <laughs> check that out. Isn't that neat? I made ourselves a little uh, hidden doorway here. I'm gonna have to expand this crawl space just a little bit to uh, to give us some more room. As you can see, it goes all the way up top and whatever. And then when we're done, we can just go and close it off and we're good. Now, this guy's already here. We can go over here and grab our sag mill maybe, or our alloy smelter. This guy's been working on making us some smooth stone, which I feel like I should probably do a little more of or set this up somehow. But um, we'll have to move all this around at some point for sure. But this room I really want to get uh, fixed because we do need to be uh, making some more printed circuit boards, especially if we want to complete quests. Well, let's go on upstairs. I also need some to eat. And we're going to sleep. Ah, that was weird. That was a very strange graphic error. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, we can dump out our decorative blocks here like those guys. Get out of there. Yeah, we'll put away our... Uh, 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 no, that's stone we gotta keep. So we'll put it here. Uh, I can put it that way. And we got a bunch of dust. Okay, good. Alright, let's grab something to eat and deal with the issue of a sag mill, eh? Shall we? Uh, let's see what we need to make a sag mill. Now, I know we're going to need machine frames. That's a given. Let's see. Let's see if there's any quests relating to this as well. That'd be good to know. Basic survival? No. Technological revolution. That guy. Mm, if there is, it's not listed here. What about there? Nope. I'm, oh, I'm missing under pressure again. Repeatable. Oh, right. Under more pressure. Oh! Oh, yeah. We can... We can totally do part of that anyway. Let's go grab a kinetic compressor. Are you manual submitting down? 
Oh, I guess I have to build a kinetic compressor, don't I? Sorry, side jag, guys. That guy. Ooh, 300 series card. That's not exp that's, uh, not cheap. Huh, anyway. We'll look at that later. For now, we need sag mill. So for this, we will need a pulverizer, a machine chassis. Uh, so we need at least one. We need two of these cards. So let's make see if we can't make two of these guys. So we're going to make, first of all, let's make a machine frame. So we need Invar, Electrum, that guy in glass. So we've got our in Electrum. Oh, I need to have to have more Invar than that. Hmm, that could be a problem. Let us go see if we have any more Invar. I hadn't thought of that. Hmm, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I tried making a uh, an automated uh, obsidian farm. It's, uh, it's not working. This is a short story. Ferris ingots, aluminum, iron. Oh man, do I really not have? Okay, so I'm gonna have to make some Invar. I think it's two in the rest, I believe. Well, it's, it's aluminum. Okay, so let's go melt these guys down. I'm going to let these go. Oh. It's supposed to be in there right now. I'm highly confused as to what's... What are you supposed to be, though? It's a little bit of brass. A little bit of more. So, why you no go? Okay. I hate it when this does that. It's the only downside to the fluid pipe extraction method is it's it. Are you done? Okay, I'm gonna let this guy go, guys. Sorry, I'm being like really quiet here. Uh, I am going to let this guy sort itself out and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back and I now have a bunch of Invar and Electrum. So let's go to work here. The other thing we need to make is some pulverizers just in general. Uh, that will be for our actual thing over there that we're gonna be making. Now the other thing we can make would be an igneous extruder. Where are the igneous extruder? You're actually not that terrible to make, so I may end up making that die today in preparation for doing my other thing that I want to build there. But let's go ahead, uh, we'll take that out of there. Put you in here, because I really do need to have a proper crafting and storage room. So like one side's going to be the machinery, the other side will be the actual crafting uh, that we're going to be using. But uh, anyway, let's go with... What are you? Oh, it's an igniter. Okay, we're going to need to make one of these guys. Oh, do we not have enough? Oh, uh, let's make one of you. Oh, we need plastic, don't we? Ooh, do I have any more plastic? Oh, I do. I got tons. Okay, we're good. Machine frame. One of, one of these guys. Now can I build one of these? Maybe. Right, because I'm gonna need two of those, right? Because I need one for the machine chassis. Okay, and that's iron bars. Which where are those? I know I have iron bars somewhere. And they are right there. that all right now this is of course like i always say the tedious portion of modded minecraft but also very rewarding when you can actually make stuff 
Of course, I won't go because they're not stackable. But hey, got to try. Uh, how did that actually go? Two Electrum. Oops. So that goes like that. These go like that. And, oh, no, I need glass, which I think I... That's thick in glass. Glass. And then we go like that, and it makes a machine frame. Okay, pulverizer. How does one make a pulverizer? That is the question. Oh, that's easy enough to make. You go like that guy. We need, I need a reception coil. Which, do I even have any? Uh, I got conductance coils. Reception coil, what the heck is a reception coil? Gold, gold and redstone. Okay, so let's make some gold here. We go like that. Ah, uh, I really do love making machinery. Oh, and we need some copper. The copper just to be safe and flint, I believe, is what we need. Which I had flint flat around here somewhere. Ah, there it is right there. Why am I so hot? Why am I always so hot? I guess it's because of the, the furnace. The little things in environment that are annoying. Okay, so we have our pulverizer here. And we'll go sag. And now we should be able to make... Oh, we need two more. Oh, we need double layer capacitors, don't we? Or those single basic capacitors. Copper, gold, okay, so let's make. Uh, let's grab some more copper. Now I should be able to make two of you. Why not? Oh, because I don't have any gold. That's why. Gold. Let's make the all eight. We're gonna, we're gonna use them, let's be honest. Of those. Oh, and we need <laughs> three of my favorite thing, obsidian. F fun fact: I obsidian is one of my favorite vanilla blocks, simply because it's blast resistant. Uh, I remember the first thing I made in Minecraft was literally an entire castle made of obsidian. It took so long to build because I was building it on cre uh, not creative on survival mode, and then I gave up like three quarters of the way through and just started using creative. Because it was taking way too long to uh, to build said castle. What are we missing? Those guys? Yeah, there we go. One sag mill. Ha <laughs> ha. Amazing. All right. We'll go downstairs here. We're going to plug this bad boy in. And I do believe I have actual redstone ore floating around that I found in the city. Okay, he's getting powered up. Now the question is, where did I put that ore? It's got to be upstairs in our loot chest. Oh, no, one more. Loot chest. Hmm. I did have redstone ore, right? Like that, that's a thing? I did, 40 of it. Ooh, that's a lot. We should get a bunch of silicone out of this, in theory. Also, the fact that we'll get a whole bunch of uh, redstone is uh, <laughs> pretty nice. So I'm going to put this in the seg mill, and I'll prep us for the next stage of today's operation. So I shall see you guys very, very shortly. Hey, guys, we're back. Uh, it didn't take very much uh, time to get a bunch of this stuff. Thank goodness for that. I mean, it's an 80% chance, right? So, yeah, look at that. We have 18. That's all I want. We can work with that. Let's actually pop upstairs really quickly here, and we're going to grab uh, this guy out of there. Uh, you can stay there for now. We'll actually have to sort that out later when I build our storage room. I may do that off camera between episodes here. Let's grab that guy there, and I do believe I have a do. Okay. And where is it? it is alloy smelter? This guy gets the double air. Now let's go see what our power is doing, by the way. Um, well, sorry. No. First things first. 18 silicone. 
that much redstone. It's going to cook these guys up into a redstone alloy, a red alloy, if I'm correct. How fast is this guy going to go? Yeah, right there. So we should get uh, enough to, to make this viable for what we want to do. Let's go upstairs now. Uh, nope, wrong level. Oh, there we go, menswear. Okay. I'm actually really impressed with how well the base is turning out. It's very, very nice. Ah, good, we are, we are doing well. How's our power situation? Nine hours left on that guy. Lots of this stuff, which is great. Let's go on over to our storage here. And you can see lots and lots of stuff going on. Um, we're getting kind of full up on this stuff, though, which I kind of kind of concerned about, but not, not holy. What do we use creeper for again? Oh, yeah, that's right. We use creeper plastic. What do we use you for, though? I build stuff with you, right? Circuit boards. That's what it is. I know I built something with creeper plastic. I just couldn't remember what, what it was, and that's what it is. Also, how do you keep getting out? Stupid chickens. I swear to God, they're the most annoying animal in this entire game. All right, let's go on upstairs. I need some food. And then we should have had enough time. Don't go with the raspberry jelly sandwich. Why not? Now, that should have given enough time to actually have made what we need here. So let's go back over. How are you doing? Can I give me one more? Okay, I'll take the 12 for now. Now, I'm going to go insulated because I want to be able to directly control everything. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So, that makes regular. And what we want is insulated. So, we'll actually take conduit binder here. Perfect, we have a 32, plenty. I almost don't even need to make more. Okay, I'll put those away. I will put that away. We'll put that away. Uh, we'll keep those on us because we may very well need them. Actually, we should build more of them in actual fact. We're going to very well need them. Okay, there we go. Oh, we'll toss the alloy in there. And we will toss uh, our conduit binder back in there. Now we can go back downstairs and we're going to see how this guy works. Because I'm really not sure what to expect with this. This is uh, as much of an experiment as anything we do on this show. Now let's go on over here. Uh, and like all conduits, I believe I mentioned this, uh, we can we can put them in the same block space as other conduits, right? You can see there, there they are. And you can take them apart. Now, I want to see if this will actually tell us what the redstone level is. Insulated conduit. Okay, so we've got like a conduit run like that. And now my question is, if I put... Okay, good, it does connect. But I want to know what the redstone level is. How do I... How can I tell? How do I know? Hmm. This is the, that's the, that's the part that's like, I don't know what the power output is. Well, what if we put a piece of redstone on the ground? Will it connect to it, I wonder? So that's a 14 right there. Okay, that's good to know. So if I were to go there, then I should put this down and it should say 13. No, it's still 14. So that's just going to give us like a maximum of 14 the whole way, isn't it? Because it's carrying it a longer distance. Which is a bonus for us. Like, I wonder how far I can make this guy go before it drops. about there would we add still 14 eh I wonder how far this guy will actually run I mean the other option was using red net cabling which do we even have do we even have red net red oh, we do have red net no we don't red 
Oh, we do have a red network. Okay, good. Yeah, of course we do. Why wouldn't we? Change that out. I want to see if I can get like the full length of this stuff away. Like that. Okay, now what are you at? Still 14. Can I... Hmm, okay, so that's red. Hmm, I kind of wanted to see if I can't customize the outputs on these guys. That's interesting. Well, I'm going to go and see what it needs to uh, do some calculations here and see what level we are actually aiming for to turn devices on and off. I mean, if I set this guy to actually having redstone control, a proper red control, uh, high redstone signal, I could turn this, I could like put it up top and just be like, oh yeah, by the way, our air pressure is this, and it'll just automatically turn these guys off is one way of doing things, uh, which actually would not be a terrible idea, but... I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to play around with this and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back now. And this is the setup I've got using our red net cables or our not red net, uh, red insulated redstone conduits. Uh, now, I could channelize this as well and get it to do different things. Now, I think I have this set up right. If I've read the formula for these guys, which let's go back here and take a look. Where are you? The formula for the threshold is 22.5 minus the redstone times 1.5. So it's going to be like, I think it was like if I did a redstone think of 12, it gives me 4.5 bars, which is ideal to operate all of my machines as they currently stand without using regulators or any of that kind of nonsense. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to attempt, I know this is going to be uh, a terrible, terrible idea. We're actually going to attempt to, uh, to turn this guy on and we're going to see is if it reaches its proposed limit temperature how much water we have we're okay if it reaches its proposed limit temperature or threshold and actually does what I want it to do we're going to find out um, I'm not exactly hopeful here given what we were doing before okay that one's on that one's not why are you not on Okay, so they're all generating, and we should see them uh, once they get to about just before the five. These should start venting. If I've done this correctly, I may not have. Who knows? Like I don't know which side this actually inputs from. Uh, I'm assuming it inputs from the back. I could input from the front. Uh, really, anyone's guess is uh, is good at this point in time. So let's find out, shall we? Pressure's climbing steadily. Um, now, again, if anybody has any hints on what to do with this, I, I am all ears. And if it does work, and it does just kind of continuously vent once we get to a stabilized pressure, uh, what I'm going to do is just put a sound muffler down here and let this guy run happy as a clam, because it should never blow up. Ever. In theory. Okay, we're getting awfully close to five. So far, no movement on these guys yet. Hmm. That concerns me. I find this concerning. Nothing's happening. Oh, we're not at four yet. That's why. This should work. It should work. <laughs> Ugh. Honestly, this is going to be the end of me, guys. <laughs> it's going to drive me completely insane. Okay, we're at four. So this one hasn't come off yet. I think we have to pass it. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we're well, we're well past five now. And these guys are not working. Amazing. <sighs> okay, I've turned them off. 
Hold on, let me go. Get rid of you there. Let's see, pressure is at 5.7 bars. Oh, this one went. Maybe the calculation's 11. Maybe I did their calculation wrong. Maybe I did this wrong. Let's see, 22.5. I don't know. Let me go back to the drawing board here for a second, guys. Okay, I think I actually have it now. <laughs> okay, let's turn this guy on. Uh, let's see here. We're going to need to go grab some water really quick. So I think the issue is that the redstone chain actually has to be going directly in to the actual uh, device in question. It can't just be running alongside it, it actually has to be pointed at it. And therein, lied my, uh, therein lies my mistake earlier on. Uh, you can't just have it exist, it needs to be pointed directly at it. Uh, which would explain a lot of things. Okay, that should be good for now. Let's, uh, let's find out. Let's find out if I'm right. I really hope I am. I'm going to need a lot more of these advanced uh, pressure tubes, though. I mean, we could run this whole thing off of uh, basic tubes now, but just using the advanced ones is just, why not? Okay, how are we doing here? Now, right, those are all saying 12, 12, 12, 12. 12 should give me a pressure threshold of 4.5 bars, which we are approaching, and hopefully we'll see these guys start venting. And if we do, we're good. And then I can pull all of these out of here because I don't need them all the way up there. And I can actually run our tubing up there, which we're going to need more of because we only have 24. So I'm going to have to make some more of those guys, but I'll do that off camera. And actually get everything settled up. And I won't even need those threshold uh, guys up top either because everything can take a maximum of 5 and it should be good to go at 4.5 there. Okay, we're getting to the threshold point here. Because this is because this one worked at 6. Because I had this guy at the power of 11, and it worked at 6. Uh, it got, as soon as it hit 6, it actually turned on. So, let's see. What's the actual pressure? 4 bars. 4.1. 2. 3. Ooh. <laughs> it works! Oh, happy day! Well, that's the end of today's episode, because I I'm I'm not not doing anything else. That's it. We're gonna end this note on a win. I would have liked to do some more quests with you guys today, but you know what? We'll take the small victories. Cause you know what? As I like to say, Eureka, I have it. As the science community says. That's awesome. That is really, really awesome. And I'm loving this redstone cable, by the way. That's really cool. So we're going to have to get a sound uh, muffler and stuff that down here, no problem. We'll just kind of put it under the floor. Actually, we'll, we'll just take this one right here. Grab that guy. I'm going to pop downstairs here, and we're just going to go. Sound muffler. Bam. We should be good now. We should be fairly stable at, uh, at 4.5. Now let's see what this is doing with our power situation. That's what I'm interested in seeing. How's this doing with our with our power situation? Uh, not bad. Stable. Okay, so that's actually draining our power. So we're gonna need to add some. We're gonna need to bulk up this power guy. That's okay. We can make some more generators. I'll do that uh, between this episode and next. But yeah, we are working, baby. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to run those pipes, and uh, we'll get that guy connected upstairs, and I'll start making some more stuff for us. And everything will be gravy, provided that it doesn't blow up. I, I'm going to have to keep a, an eye out. Uh, I'm going to put a pressure sensor upstairs to, to monitor the upstairs pressure, just to see, because, I mean, these can handle 20. So if I see that getting anywhere, I'll know something's wrong, and I'll have to come and investigate. Uh, but this should just vent automatically from now on. There should be no issues with this guy uh, whatsoever. Look at that, just staple it for me. Uh, I'm sorry for taking so long with this pneumatic craft stuff and, and focusing a lot on it, but it really is very, very important to uh, to our 
continued existence in this guy here. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. And there's another one right there. We don't need you either. So yeah, it is very, very important to our continued existence in this game that we get this guy to work. And I'm very happy that we have got it working now. Uh, if you guys liked today's episode, please leave a like. It helps me out tremendously when you guys do that for me. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the series and all that kind of jazz. Uh, if you have any comments, of course, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.